In an educational ways, it was great to see these two different countries really, um, and Croatia in general, uh, economy really depends on tourism and kind of learning on that aspect, how that helps uh, the country's economy grow. While in Luxembourg, it's a very big financial center, depending on, you know, three surrounding countries and how that influences their economy as well, and, and just a different sense of the word. So I think it was a good pairing to see how um, international these, these countries can be, um, and uh, a great learning experience for the University of Louisville MBA program. In the health of uh, our school and uh, all, of all of my colleagues, really welcome. Yeah, in Europe, it's the European Commission. Okay, so I chose this trip as I thought it'd be a great exposure to both Eastern and Western European uh, countries and different cultures and environments that are so just kind of not polar opposites, but very different than I've seen before. To be able to come here to meet students, to meet faculty, it's all about networking and we are in an international economy these days. Things aren't on a tiny, tiny scope, so broadening our horizons by doing these types of uh, projects is very uh, pivotal. In general, any idea where students uh, go abroad, uh, where students meet other, other peers in other countries is definitely something which which I support because it broadens their ideas, broadens their horizons, and in the end makes them, uh, makes them better professionals one day. Uh, it's my great pleasure really to be today here with the American students to present Dubrovnik, to present a success story of Dubrovnik, but also business processes that they are going on. I was speaking uh, about Croatian tourism, trying to emphasize strengths and weaknesses of Croatian tourism. It's a fantastic opportunity for them to have a picture of the country. Croatian tourism has been, uh, let's say, a very dominant factor of the Croatian uh, national product. We are honored to be part of that story and we are happy that it's working so well. This trip has been wonderful so far. Uh, as you can see, it's it's gorgeous. Uh, we love it. We've been treated uh, very well here uh, at the vineyard, at the winery. Uh, great samples, great food, friendly people. Uh, it's been a wonderful time. I wanted to go to places that I didn't think that I would go otherwise. So I, I picked this trip because I felt like I didn't know a whole lot about Croatia. There's a good blend of cultures here from all, all parts of Europe. I haven't been to Southern Europe before, but I've been to like Central. So this was a, a change. This trip being pushed outside my comfort zone has been a little different for me and he gave a lot of pointers, a lot of examples, a lot of things that are really helpful not only now but also for any future potential trips. how important people are, how important example is, how important the values are, how important integrity is, how important all these things are for them and for the people they are going to be handling. 
that in their entire life, because they are going to be managers, they are going to have people, and they are going to be the example, they are going to be the leaders, and they have to have some basic values for them. So I, this is what I want them to realize, that's all. I think it was interesting how he talked about um, the different culture from different countries and how you have to lead differently depending on where you go. Global managers are successful not only because they can manage global operations, understand global finance, do global marketing, etc., but that they're also good at the cultural piece. We call this cross-cultural or simply cultural competence.